We're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Mr. Tari Peko, who is Chief Executive of the Botswana Communications Regulatory Authority, or BOCRA. Mr. Peko, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me to the interview. I'd like to start off by talking about the events theme, embracing change in a digital world. Where do you see the biggest opportunities in that change for the industry and for society? And what are the biggest challenges in your opinion? Well, I think uh, we're coming from a traditional uh, you know, voice technology, now moving into uh, the cloud. And I think at the end of the day, really, what is even more critical is that uh, the speed of the internet will be the way to go. And in terms of uh, the digital economy, I see that uh, the rest of the world is actually moving in that direction. So there is no sort of like uh, the rich or poorer, but one thing that one can actually embrace is that once you've got the human brains and people can do what they believe is right, it can be taken uh, to the next level. And how is Botswana embracing that change? We have, uh, because we have uh, developed uh, the national um, um, uh, broadband strategy, and this national broadband strategy is to ensure that uh, we have a clear path as to exactly what we need to do to embrace the digital economy. And we expect that uh, in the next two years or so, we'll be able to tap into this uh, phenomenal change in our life. And I think one of the things that we've been very ambitious is that uh, in terms of the internet speed, we've made it very clear that uh, the bare minimum that people can have is uh, 10, meg 10 megabytes moving forward so that we can have a high speed uh, technology moving forward. So broadband is very much key for you? Broadband is very much key because uh, the country is um, it's huge and what we want to do is to connect the, uh, the, the society throughout and just to make sure that uh, at the end of the day there is a defined path or strategy as to how best you can actually get everybody moving forward. Because of course I presume there's a big difference between the cities and, uh, and the rural areas. Yes, there is. Uh, I think the concept of the digital divide it's more important that you know you got the rural and you also have the urban, and we want to have one country connected by the technology. And you know, our government has actually uh, invested heavily on the undersea um, uh, cable or submarine cables, uh, both in the uh, in the east and in the west. And these high-speed uh, um, um, cables, they will be able to ensure that uh, we give the last mile to the to the community. I think that's, that's really the, 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 the crack of the matter, to make sure that the last mile and how do you do it, and the challenge is that uh, how do we do it, and training people will be a good thing moving forward. It's always that last mile that's the most difficult, isn't it? Yes, it is. I wanted to ask you finally, in terms of uh, attending events such as these, what's the value of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? There are about three things, actually. You meet people that you have never met before. And uh, there's a very, very robust debate here. People actually saying things that, um, you know, they can assist you to take the, you know, your own, your own country moving forward. In the, last, in the last debate that I actually participated in, I mean, I was asked a simple question, what is it that you would like to have? I said, you know, content and uh, application is the way to go. But when you say content, what is it that the people in your own society want? And the technology that comes with it. Can you apply it to be used in the same society that you're in? And again, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a holistic of issues here. And, and, and one thing that I think was very, very pleasing was just to see people actually coming together, debating matters that we never thought that would be debated. Mr. Peko, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much, sir. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you.